Hi everybody, I'm Captain Floofers. And I'm Sergeant Greg. And uh, welcome to uh, Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Uh, greetings from Zanzibar. We are reborn. Um, uh, yeah. Pat Patrick is, I don't know where Patrick is, but I am at my office uh, at home where I write all of my novels. It is very clean in here, I can assure you that. <laughs> I am in my office at home, which also just happens to be my bedroom. Nice. Um, but I call it my office as well, because I work from here, because I work from home, but... Um, so yes, uh, Oracle of Seasons, then. Uh, it was a game what come out on the Game Boy Color in, like, 2000. Mm. Or 2001, actually, I think. Uh, it runs off the Link's Awakening engine, so that's why a lot of things will look familiar. Um, there's also a Link system between this and uh, Oracle of Ages, which... Um, I am planning on playing at some point in the mm -hmm. future, uh, but for now, um, I'm going to just start a new game. Cool. Um, fortunately, due to the uh, uh, character limit, we don't have room for Floople, but I'll, oh, just, no. I'll just put Floof. Cool. And um, yeah, we are. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, and I'll just say just used to this. Yeah, <laughs> just a, a bit of an apology. Greg is on a tiny bit of a delay since we're record, uh, recording over Discord with the um, yes. with the chat. So um, we are we are learning how to do this. So this is our first time uh, streaming, or not really streaming. You're kind of streaming, and I'm kind of talking yeah. over your stream. Yeah, I'm I'm streaming in in such a way that Greg can see um can see the the game. Yes. Now I have just realized that I am not hearing anything from the game. Oh, you're not. I am I am seeing it. Oh. Let me see if there is a command in here for me to input device. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Okay, you can hear it now. Uh, no. <laughs> um, Hang on. Hang on. I'm messing with the options on my side. I have a volume thing. I've turned it all the way up. Is there is there supposed to be music right now? Um, there is, is now. Yes. There, there is should... no. I am hearing no music. Hmm. Well, this is a, a learning experience, I suppose. Yes. Hang on. Let me. Uh, One moment, folks. No, you're cool. I mean, I can do it without music. I mean, That's okay. I mean, if you, I can just play some, you know, I can play some wind hand in the back and imagine that Link is just totally <laughs> rocking out. Okay. Um, we're okay. I mean, I'll, I'll, I can just listen to you. It's fine. Okay, fair enough. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Okay. Um, so, the kind of the backstory for this game is... At least in insofar as I recall reading on the official timeline, this ta this takes place in between um, A Link to the Past and Link's Awakening. Mm -hmm. And Link has gone off on kind of a journey of enlightenment or something like that, kind of like, a, like to kind of ready himself again should something like what happened in A Link to the Past happen again. And thank God that nothing's happening in Hyrule while he's gone. Um... So the Triforce kind of sends him off to where we are now. This is the land of Holodrum. And okay. um, where we've landed uh, is just... There's like a, a circus troupe over here. Because um, if we if we try to go anywhere else, um, there's really nowhere we can go. We don't have our, our sword or anything. Or... You can't pick those up. You're incapable of doing any gardening. No, this is this, since it runs off the Link's Awakening engine, we do need a power bracelet to lift things. Okay. We are weak, uh, like kitten, without it. Oh, yeah. you're awake. So yeah, there. This is basically just tells you that um, their troop and stuff. Mhm. Mm All right. Now, have you played this, is... this game before? Oh yes. Okay. I've, I've played this game several times. That's Impa. Impa. That's Impa. Where have I heard that name before? Hmm. I wonder. Gee. Uh, basically, they're just pointing us to talking to Din up there. Okay. So let's just go ahead and talk to Din. Says, you have awakened. Good, I worried while you slept. That's kind of creepy. You're floof, right? <laughs> I watched you while you slept. I drew you. <laughs> How do you do, floof? I am Din. I saw a red flash in the woods, and when I went to see what it was, you were lying there. Mystery surrounds you, floof. 
okay? I'm just glad you're better. Come, won't you dance with me? Um, how do we initiate the dancing? Won't you dance with me forever? We were just talking about Dancing Queen in the last LP. That's right, we were. Do I have to talk to everybody? Because I'd like to dance, that's how you progress. I'm sorry, but you are not allowed to dance until you talk to every single person there. That's <laughs> the way my high school prom worked. And that is the way that the Nintendo Game Boy works. So. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I didn't go to my prom. I stayed with my stayed in with my friends and we watched Godzilla movies. Nice. There we go. Don't be shy. Dancing will be fun. So we get this little art. Oh, we have like a whole... Yeah, we've got a whole, uh, whole ass cutscene here. A little bit. That was fun. You're a good dancer. It's been some time since I had such good fun. Hey, your left hand, it has a triangle on it. I think she means Triforce, but... No, that is... she means triangle. <laughs> it is a sacred mark in Hyrule. If it's the true symbol, then you are a hero with a special fate, Floof. A special you fate. The... You have the same tattoo as Grimes. <laughs> How strange. Floof, I... <laughs> okay, so she wants, uh, she wants Floof's D... Uh, which yes, is for, uh, oh, 100%. And, um... Dancing. Nearby uh, druids casting Call Lightning on us, I guess. Oh, no. I found you, Din, Oracle of Seasons. You hid yourself well, but you cannot escape Onox, General of Darkness. Uh, okay, Onox, I will go with it. <laughs> but you cannot escape the Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my way, boy! Aha! Floof! The French? <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, hey, we're going... Then now we're at the beginning of a Final Fantasy game. Yeah, pretty much. What do you plan to do with me? <laughs> well, now. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> Should we make? Should I give him a Jeff Goldblum voice then? Yes, Onox is definitely Jeff Goldblum. I've, we've decided this. Okay. A as you as you know, if I uh, imprison the Oracle of Seasons and bury the temple that uh, houses the season uh, season spirits, the uh, seasons of Holodrum will be cast into chaos. Uh, the bountiful gifts of nature will rot, and all uh, all uh, living things perish. That is the world of darkness that I long for. <laughs> Before you even knew what you had, <laughs> you were, you were, you're casting into chaos. Chaos. Everything's what? chaos. No, no on us. On us. No. <laughs> A lot of these can be taken out. Of, stuff out of um, can be taken out of context. Oh yes, the story is much much more adult than I remember <laughs> when I was a child. Actually, I actually have never played this game, so I don't know the first thing about it. Other than it is like Link's Awakening. It is a lot like Link's Awakening, yeah. Spring, summer, fall, winter, fall into chaos! Aha! 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 I didn't know he was going to be all about chaos when I decided he was Jeff Goldblum. But you know, I never really thought about that either. I haven't played this game in a while, but I forgot that he talked so much about chaos. And it just... All the pieces just fall into place. Exactly. It's natural. Go ha 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 ha. I'm trying to do the the <laughs> laugh. I can't do the laugh. I'm sorry. Oh no! <laughs> now we're in the land of endless winter. We have to find the um. Fuck! What was that mystery science theater episode? Um, which one? Where it was winter. It was winter all the time, and they had to find the MacGuffin. I cannot remember. I don't that. know. Floof, are you all right? Actually, I am. A, I'm the nurse of Hyrule's Princess Zelda, and Din's no dancer either. She is actually the Oracle of Seasons, who wields control over the forces of nature. Zelda has mystical powers that told of a curtain of shadow drawing around Din. I was instructed to take her to Hyrule in secret. Oh, that lot of good that did. Yeah. Zelda gave me this quest, but, ow, I've been wounded, and I won't be able to travel for some time. 
Floof, I know, I know not why you were lying in the woods, but you and Din were fated to meet. If the Triforce on your left hand is real, then you may be the hero who will save the world. I've already done that. Please, use your power to aid Din. Please, Please I have done that so many times already. Please, may I have a break? Please, take my message to the Maku Tree in Horon Village. The Maku okay, Tree... Just making shit up. <laughs> the Maku Tree is the guardian of all Holodrum. Surely he can help. Alright, so now we've got our overworld music going. And now we're basically... Which I cannot hear. Yeah, we're just south of where I was. Uh, there's a guy out here with his cat. And... Um... We can just kind of like wander around in this area, but we can't go much farther past here. So let's go south, and this actually takes us to the aforementioned Horon Village. Mm -hmm. um, now, the uh, obviously with this being Oracle of Seasons, uh, all the seasons are out of whack. Um, yeah. And uh, depending on what area you're in, like each area has like a default season, mm -hmm. but like every time you exit and enter Horon Village, it's random what it turns out to be. Uh, each season has, like, its own quirks to it as far as exploration is concerned, um, but I'll go into more detail about that later. Okay. There's a piece of heart there. Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually talk to the jeweler. There we go. Because he's going to allow us to use rings. Um, I'll get the rings just a second. Um, oh, yeah, he's, he's going to explain it right here. Rings are made from mystical seeds, have very mystical powers. If you wear one, its mystical power will be passed to you. But you must keep it in your ring box. The mystical power will gradually weaken and you won't be able to use it. And we don't have a ring box, so he's going give to uh, give one to us. So we can hold one ring in it. And he gives us a ring to basically show how, you know, appraising rings works. So we have to appraise the ring before we can wear it. I was not expecting our heroic journey to involve appraising rings. <laughs> well, it takes all kinds, I guess. Symbol of a meeting. This is just kind of like a, um... Sir, this is an onion ring. <laughs> By the way, the uh, awesome thing about doing this over Discord is I'm able to Google things. It was the Sampo, that's what I was talking about, the Mystery Science Theater thing, where it's it's... It's like the Finnish folktale movie, and they have to find the Sampo to end the endless winter, but they never explain what the Sampo is. Oh, I never saw that one. Okay. Well, it's what I thought of when we entered the land of endless winter. Gotcha. So yeah, we have a... Uh... should have screenshotted that one. Rings do nothing unless worn. It's true. It's, it's the words... So, the... this ring does nothing anyway, but uh, I'm just gonna, okay. just gonna equip it just for... Whatever. Friendship purposes. Yeah. Um, while I will be going after the... There are 12 pieces of heart in the game. I'm going to go after all the pieces of heart and all the upgrades. I'm not going to go after all of the rings. Mm -hmm. um, there are 64 rings in the game. Many of them are found through random chance. Some of them aren't even found in this game. And yeah. a handful of them I would actually have to do two full playthroughs of, bo of both games. In order oh, to get wow. all of them, and I'm not doing that on camera. Oh, so you've got to do the double, the double game. Yeah, I mean, I, I do want to do like one double game run, but I'm not going to do it like the other way to get all the rest of the rings. Mm -hmm. it's, I'm not not on camera anyway. Yeah, no, fair enough. There are like certain rings um, that I will be. There's like at least one ring that I'm going to be going for because I know exactly how to get it. But um, okay. that's like the only thing I'm not going to 100% is the rings. I mean, whatever rings we get, we get. Um, okay. Anyway, we can't go in to see the Mako tr uh, Maku tree right now, because the, like he has a gate that's up. Um, I don't know if I read the sign or not, but it says that I need um, a symbol of courage in order to proceed. And I, talking with, with uh, townsfolk tells me that that's a sword. And um, just kind of explore a bit down here. You know what uh, what ring Link is, is no one is ever going to give Link? Um, a wedding ring? A purity ring. Hey -o. Okay. In before the next seed ring is a purity ring. <laughs> I know it's not in the game, but I can I can I can learn programming and put it into the game. Oh no. Oh. Actually this is a fairy fountain. 
It's written on the inside of the ring. Link, you cannot make the sex with on any of these ladies. Alright, welcome back to winter. Okay, yeah, but we want to go in there. I thought I had to go in there, but uh, apparently not. I have played this game, but it's been a while. You're wasting the hearts the fairy gave you. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Yep. <laughs> Here's your cave, hero. It's shitty and full of bats. And this just kind of teaches you, like, basic puzzles and stuff. Like, oh, look, you can push blocks. If you walk off the edge into the darkness, you will fall. Yep. You are, you know, not Wily e. Coyote. Well, I mean, you can fall down and, you know, you'll still survive it, like Wily e. Coyote. You can get down, but you'll get up again. Well, they're never going to keep me down. Exactly. He finds a friendship ring, he finds a vodka ring. Vodka ring. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I guess I could just get that. Okay. It's a key. And uh, this the music here is very unbecoming of a uh, hero's cave, but... Uh, well, I can't hear it. I know, so you guys would say you can't hear it. I'm not sure why I can see it, but I can't hear it. I go to the the options, and it it's the stream volume is at one hundred percent in my volume, so I don't know why. I don't know. Well, the important the important thing is it's coming up on my end, and it's coming in through OBS, so. Um, yeah, that's I mean that's that's the important thing. Yeah. I don't know if I can push any of these. It's kind of a, uh, you know, just a basic Babu um, tutorial Babu's thing. First. Nabby's first dungeon. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, look, you can hit a switch and it opens the door. <laughs> then you have to walk all the way around. That's something. Guys, guys, did you know if you hit a switch, you open a door? So I got the basic wooden sword. I don't know that it's really worthy of that, you know, huge, uh, like, fade to white. <laughs> Well, it's just so that it's just so that we don't have to go all the way back through the dungeon, I guess. You got a piece of wood, and we can get some money up here. Money. Um, but also, unlike Link's Awakening, I um, I forgot to mention, uh, the dungeon rooms actually scroll. Um, okay. Because like in Link's Awakening, everything was on one screen, but like the yeah. the screens inside of caves and dungeons will scroll in this in um, right. this in Oracle of Ages. Life finds a way. Absolutely. Maybe Capcom found a way, I don't know. Capcom actually developed this. Really? Yep. There was a... Is that why the bad guy turns out to be Wesker? Uh, probably. <laughs> I guess the emulator is um, counting this as on a Game Boy Color, so we can't go in there. Okay. If, if well, it that's just was like... not a Game Boy Color, we could go in there? Uh, if we were playing on a Game Boy Advance. Okay. It would let you in. But all that's really in there is, like, a ring that doesn't do anything, and then, like, a Gasha Seed, which I'll explain later. Okay. Um, so it's uh, it's not something I'm going to worry too much about. I was just kind of curious uh, to see if that was open or not. So has everybody, has everybody pre-ordered their, their PS5? No, I have not pre-ordered my PS5. They are, are not available anywhere. Last year, I don't know if you heard that sneeze. There's uh, always a tree. Yep. Isn't there? This one yeah. has a giant... I mean, I'm going to be, be uh, charitable and say that that's a beard underneath of the tree there. And that that's... isn't a giant testicle, which is what it looks like. But I'm just gonna There's roots, but... Do what now? There's roots. Who's that? Did you wake me? Who are you? Hmm, what? Din was taken while I was slept? There's no sign of the Temple of Seasons. This is awful. It's almost I like I'm a guardian and I'm, I haven't been doing my job or something. Guarding the Oracle is my duty. <laughs> duty. Alas, how I've withered. What's to be done, Floof? I never told you my name. Oh, we <laughs> must cut you down. With the... Uh, and make tools from your body. Like, we need to pass a noble law. Exactly. With the seasons in chaos, 
The land is robbed of the very essence of nature, draining all of my might. Can you save Din in my stead? It is all this Maku tree has ever asked. I sense evil on the northern peak where the Temple of Seasons rested. Onox has cast a, st a shadow on the northern peak. I think you will find him there. You'll need the eight essences of nature that lie sleeping in Holodrum. Gathering all eight is the only option. The essences possess the sacred power of nature, with which you can break the shadow barrier and save Din. This Shall is a rush song. <laughs> <laughs> a shadow on the northern peak! <laughs> Shall I repeat it? <laughs> it's the owl in disguise. <laughs> Breaking through the barrier with the eight items! <laughs> Yes. All right. So I'll give you this key. Go to the giant root near the lake up north. The first essence should be there, but I expect some resistance. Be careful. I'll just uh, rest until. Oh, no energy. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Got the gnarled key, and he goes back to sleep. And um, yeah, the uh, the first dungeon is just like just north of town. Ah, nice. um, I'm gonna head to the item shop real quick and pick up a shield. Okay. Because uh, you don't you don't find the shield anywhere. You actually have to buy one. Can you still hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, might as well do this as well. So basically, this guy, this this couple had a baby. Um, and we can name the baby. Do you think the tree had something to do with the baby? <laughs> I was like, I know all about trees! I have a baby! <laughs> what are seven facts about trees? <laughs> what should we name the baby, Greg? Oh, no! Um, um, oh god. Oh god, we do get to name the baby. Yes, we get to name the baby. Oh, no! Why would you let me do this game? <laughs> no! No! We named the baby! Yes. Oh. oh. Let's name the baby. <sighs> Death Fist. <laughs> we can't fit that. I don't think that'll fit. No, it's five, uh, it's five characters. <laughs> Fisting. I don't think we can fit that either. Oh, oh no. Um, 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 uh, what do you think yeah. we should name the baby Captain Floofers? I think we should name the baby Neil. Neil? Yes. Okay. After Neil Peart. There we go. That'll work. That's good. I hope I spelled that correctly. <laughs> Yes, you did. Okay, you good. Did. All right, and we that can... would be sad if you didn't. Yeah, it would be. I would be a I would be a bad Rush fan if I did. I that. like the thing that pops up there. It's like it's still winter. <laughs> yeah, I want one of those just when I go outside in the morning. Yep, it's still <laughs> winter. I don't I don't think we get a winter down here. Um, well, I don't think you get a winter either. <laughs> we get Mr. Meridian. We get we get rain uh, sometimes. Um... But like, uh, and lately it's been like in the 80s, which is, it's nice. Let me see what the weather's like this week here, because it was hot he here too today. It's been cold, but oh, yeah, it was 80 today, but it's only supposed to be in the mid 60s the rest of the week. I remember uh, chatting with a, um with one of my co-workers uh, the other day. And um, she said it was like 54 and like raining or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, it's like 90 down here. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Let's go north here. Oh, look, there's like an old man here, like in Zelda 1. He's going to give us a vague clue. Turn light to unlit torches. Flickering torchlight. I want to listen to by Tor and the Snow Dog. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play that over top underneath of this. So... See, that's something I can't I can't do that I can't. 
slave ride. I don't get content ID in the in the uh, the, the video will get the video will get taken down. I am I am listening to Bytor in the Snow Dog right now, <laughs> and you can't hear it, and you the viewer can't hear it because then we will get copyright strike. This actually sounds really good with like you beating up skeletons. It's nice. Oh okay. Got the map. I also do want to point out about the map of this dungeon. It looks kind of like... I think that that's kind of like what uh, level 1 in Zelda 1 looked like. It's an upside-down umbrella. <laughs> Actually, I think that is. Hang on. Zelda 1. It's supposed to look like an like an eagle. Because if, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly... Yes, it, is an, it is an eagle. It's the first... The first uh... Level in Zelda is a majestic eagle, looks like. Oh yeah. Oh, oh so now now that I think about it, uh keep uh the first uh keep that in mind, um that this is like the uh the first Zelda uh dungeon, because uh Well, I'm not looking forward to seeing what dungeon three looks like then. Oh no, there's there's no there's no <laughs> manji there's no manji dungeon. <laughs> no, we don't have to worry about that. We don't we don't like to talk about the historical significance of Dungeon Three. <laughs> um we had to have a truth and reconciliation panel about that <laughs> particular dungeon. Uh, I'm not. Well, I, I will not say. It, but yes, you can. You can. You guys can Google the original Zelda. And see what I'm talking about. It looks unfortunate. Did I see you just a minute ago on a minecart? Yes. There's That's a fantastic. There's a minecart in here. This is already just so much cooler than the original Link's Awake. Yeah. You have they were obviously heavily inspired by classic Super Nintendo game Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, probably. Oh, right, I can just do like this. I don't know what I was thinking. There you go, what's in here? That's a gasha seed. A teardrop. It's a, a blue slime. Yeah, we'll get to what gasha seeds do later. I hear if you plant them, then a beak will grow. You don't want to get beaked. Oh, and you changed the little... Uh, the minecart track, the, yep. The mine cart. It's the trolley. Trolley problem. You know, if you move the trolley, uh, three people will be run right over instead of one. <laughs> Trouble with the trolley, eh? <laughs> I think that's a Spire of the Dragon reference. What I said. Okay. I haven't it sounded the, the the tone of your voice made it sound like unforgettable. So, oh. and here's more more. Uh, can you knock it out of the? Please, can you knock it out of it while it's in motion? No, you can't. Please keep your hands and arms inside of the minecart until we have arrived at our destination. I got some bombs. Oh, bomb. Good of them to leave high explosives just sitting around the dungeon. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What is this thing? Oh! Oh, he mad. Yep. It's like a Roomba, but it wants to kill you instead of clean things. So, a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know if we could, um... I mean, we have a vacuum here, but I don't think that we would want a Roomba. At least not with the... Because my, my brother has cats. We had a Roomba, and we, we ended up selling it. It... it wasn't great. I could not imagine that, like, I just kind of went on the minecart by complete accident there, so I'm going back. Um, I couldn't imagine, like, a Roomba being particularly efficient when it comes to, you know, vacuuming the entire floor. Yeah. Plus, now that you have a cat, I don't think that would be great for her either. Oh, the cat. Our cat loves... Loves to attack it with her claws. <laughs> oh, hey, this dungeon has greenery. Yep. Welcome to the foliage dungeon. Oh. oh also, the bombs are uh, handle a bit differently in this than in Link's Awakening. Okay. Um, so? when you push the button, you actually start off picking it up rather than just placing it down. Okay. And also, the explosions can hurt you. Oh, okay. Friendly fire. Watch out for the demon Roomba. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> the fairies still look like bees, I see. 
Oh, this looks like a boss room to me. All right, you cannot piss. Pass. You cannot, you cannot piss. You cannot piss. <laughs> what? Yeah, these guys Turner, are no pissing here. <laughs> Those guys. That, is that's not the real boss, is it? No, that's a mini boss. Okay, I'm like that was. That was sad. 